Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday the 19th. I'm James Spann. Turning colder tonight and more rain before the week is over. Now let's get in there and take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. Looking good after those morning clouds. That's the Tuscaloosa Skycam. Got a case of blue sky and sunshine there. There's the Gadsden Skycam in Etowah County. I drove through that fair city today. Spoke over at uh, Piedmont this morning. And down in Clanton few high clouds around, but a nice late winter day. Big trough is carving out over the east. That is delivering colder air. We'll feel that tonight. We'll be in the 20s tomorrow morning, and that's going to set the stage for the possibility of a major winter storm out across the heartland as the cold air interacts with that new trough you see on the California coast. So a lot going on here. Uh, these are temperatures this afternoon, right as forecast, uh, 50s for the most part. Got a few 60s way down south. Uh, Auburn's got 63, uh, Birmingham at 56. Now tomorrow will be cooler. In fact, many spots will have a hard time getting out of the 40s north of Birmingham, despite a, uh, a sky that will be, I uh, will say mostly cloudy, but we don't expect any rain tomorrow. Uh, temperatures, you can see that really cold air uh, moving southward. Uh, I mean, readings are below freezing at mid-afternoon for places like St. Louis and Kansas City and points north. And around here, it's seasonal, but we turn colder tonight. Yeah, we got a big mess here for the heartland. Uh, here's a look at the uh, uh, winter storm watches and warnings is of mid-afternoon. Winter storm warnings, the counties in pink over parts of Kansas, Nebraska, surrounding that winter storm watches. Even down into northern Arkansas, they could see some nasty icing uh, from Little Rock North uh, with this thing. And back in the southwest, a lot of winter storm warnings for the mountains of Arizona and Utah and Nevada and California. So pretty messy. Uh, but all of that, no, no winter weather issues here. We'll just have some rain from all of this uh, Thursday night. Uh, now in the warm sector, this is the severe weather outlook tomorrow. Day two, a slight risk uh, in Texas. Uh, Dallas-Fort Worth west over toward really Lubbock in the uh, South Plains. And then on day three, which is Thursday, there is a risk of severe weather just west of here. All of Louisiana and some of the adjacent states, pretty good chunk of uh, Mississippi, the higher probabilities, the enhanced risk is uh, over uh, places like Jackson and, again, much of Louisiana. The big question is the return of in unstable air. Can that happen? If it can, there could be a few tornadoes down there, but we just don't expect any instability here, which is good. Uh, rain for the next seven days. Numbers have come down a little bit, but still, we, we've got some several rounds of rain to deal with. Uh, this is showing the heaviest rain over the southern half of the state. Rainfall down there, about five inches, and this is valid through Tuesday evening of next week. All right, let's see if we can sort our way through this. Uh, <coughs> this is the... Uh, uh, 12Z GFS valid at 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. Uh, big trough over the northeast. There's that new trough in the southwest United States. That'll be the next one to watch. And down below that, tomorrow will be cool and dry. Uh, we'll probably start the day clear, but as the day progresses, the sky becomes cloudy. Uh, and the high will be around 50, so areas north of Birmingham probably won't get out of the 40s. And you can see that uh, big snow beginning to start over northern Oklahoma and Kansas with rain developing over Texas. We'll go to Thursday. And again, you can see how the western storm is kind of in two pieces there. You've got this upper low that's north of Oklahoma City and a pretty good chunk of energy near San Diego. And, uh, you know, we'll have to deal with both of those. And we'll take a look at how the GFS handles that. This is noon on Thursday. And again, that's a big snow right there for Kansas and Nebraska up into parts of northern Missouri. That's a classic snow setup for uh, that state, those states out there. And then in the warm sector, storms will likely break out over southern Arkansas and Louisiana. And uh, we go to Thursday night at midnight. The uh, batch of storms is moving through here. But as we have discussed a number of times, there is no unstable air. Uh, the lifted indices remain positive. So we don't expect any severe weather Thursday night as the rain comes through. It's going to be windy, though. You know, pressure gradient winds. Notice how the gradient's tight. It'll be kind of like the deal, uh, you know, we had uh, with those strong winds last night. And then on Friday, the front drifts down there to a point below Montgomery. So this is suggesting we'll have rain Thursday night, ending pretty early in the day Friday. Um, and if the sun peaks out, we might see low 70s here Friday. The GFS is showing 72 
Not so sure the sun can break out. I guess it's possible. But again, for the bulk of the day, the rain will be down to the south. Uh, now, this is Friday night at midnight, and this is where, you know, uh, we've seen some model madness. Th this run keeps the bulk of the rain south of Birmingham. If you're north of Birmingham, it looks like Friday night will be dry. Uh, from Birmingham south, there's a chance of rain. Could be some thunder, maybe a strong storm. That's that second chunk, uh, you know, that was around San Diego, that second piece of energy. And then Saturday at midday, this run has the rain south of here, over south Alabama. We have seen other runs that make it wet up here, but this is clearly keeping the bulk of the rain to the south on Saturday. So uh, if you buy into this, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, and Points North would be basically dry and mild Saturday with a high in the middle 60s, the better chance of rain south of Interstate 20. But this could change, you know. This is a very active and complicated pattern, and that's a very fine line we're trying to draw, you know, several days in advance. And then Sunday, I think it's safe to say that most of the state will be dry, except maybe the southeastern corner of the state down around Dothan. We stay mild, uh, no cold air involved. The high should be in the mid to upper 60s. And look at that, more snow out there for Kansas and Nebraska. And then we'll go to Monday of next week, another very impressive trough. And down below that, the GFS again wants to keep the cold front dry. I guess it's possible, but this is the second run in a row with no rain with the cold front coming in. But look at the European on Monday. I think that makes more sense. So uh, we'll probably mention a chance of rain, maybe some thunder on Monday. And then Tuesday of next week, we get back into a drier air mass. A little cooler, but not really you know, that cold for late February. The high should be in the upper 50s if that's right. All right, let's go out there a couple of more days on the 28th. Uh-oh. Look at here now, a little coastal low on the Atlantic coast, the uh, critical thickness line roughly along U.S. 278. That's hinting at a chance of snow for extreme North Alabama and Tennessee. But this is the land of voodoo, but there's been some consistency in the idea. And then on March the 2nd, it's just cold. And, and again, the consistency has been very good in this idea, a flood of very cold air dropping in here as March begins, right at the beginning of meteorological spring. It happens sometimes, and if this is right, it would be cold and dry. Uh, and then on March 4th, uh oh another Atlantic coastal low and another chance of snow. And look at this. This would be snow basically statewide. Uh, maybe not all that heavy, but hey, watch out now. And then on uh, March the 7th, we start to warm up as the uh, pattern relaxes a little bit. So it's going to be very interesting to watch the weather around here in coming weeks. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Who's got time to listen to boring radio shows? If you're going to listen to something, listen to something good, like eavesdrop. My favorite thing about Christmas is not the presents. No. And it's not the million no. Christmas parties. And it's not playing Dirty Santa. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's about relationships. relationships. I, know. I know exactly where you're going it, with that, yeah. It, it just is. It is. And take the time. What if this is your last Christmas yeah. and you never know? Just talking it up. They may use the name Jesus in a terrible way when they hit their thumb with a, you know, <laughs> with a with a hammer by accident on right. Saturday afternoon when they're working on their car. But don't bring Jesus into a song and give him a beer. That ain't right. Hey, I know a few of those folks myself. Bama Talk Show. But before we head for the Dome, we got business to take care of at home. So making plans for the throwdown in downtown Atlanta, we'll have to wait until that post-game rammer jammer rings in the postseason for Bama and the offseason for the barn. Auburn unleashed. That magical score that, that Auburn fans remember, 17-16, came out of that game. And Bill Newton was responsible for the, for the chant, punt, Bama, punt. Bill, thank you for joining us. Uh, good afternoon, Adam. I appreciate y'all having me as uh, the first guest on your show. Worldview Matters. And, you know, we've been talking about a number of things. Last couple of times we talked about socialism. We moved from Islam to socialism, and we were going to continue today to do the same thing. But a lot of things have happened in the world in the past 10 days. Uh, oh, it's yeah. heated up again in, in, in Israel. So I thought it would be a good uh, chance for us to talk about some of the things that relate to worldview as it relates to the Israeli situation and Egypt and all that's going on in the Middle East. High School Heroes. 
and the plane goes right through the bl- bridge and doesn't catch on fire. It's just tons of stuff, man. Uh, tons of unrealistic stuff, but hey, it was really cool, actually. Warning, any of these shows can be addictive, and they are all fun. Listen on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.